into that kind of a rhythm and to see those shots drop like that? Uh, I mean, it felt good. You know, I just trusted my preparation, trusted, uh, you know, my teammates would find me and started with confidence. Talk about preparation. I mean, how difficult is it to continue to stay on your work even though you don't know when your opportunity is going to come? Man, it's, it's super difficult. Obviously, growing up, I've always been playing, and then, you know, you come here to, the, you know, the best league in the world, and you're challenged with something like that. And, you know, I've just been able to have a great supporting cast behind me with my family and even, you know, the coaches and the rest of the, rest of the organization just keeping me ready and keeping me positive. How do you look at this opportunity you have, you know, right now? You're obviously in uh, rotation and can kind of show what you can do. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a great opportunity for me um, just being able to, you know, get into the rotation <clears throat> and really just, you know, sh show what my capabilities are. I'm oh, sorry. What? The white headbands? <laughs> nah, I think Josh's been wearing them for a little bit. <laughs> we, we had a lot of guys wearing them tonight? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Did, did it feel like... You know, because a lot of the, the talk has been, you know, behind Jalen after Quickly's gone, you know, he's got to play a lot of minutes at a high level. Did, did it feel like this was an opportunity for you to step up and show that you can be kind of the guy who helps alleviate some of that pressure off of him? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think what I bring to the table is, uh, you know, a great thing for the team. I think I can push the pace, obviously uh, knock down shots and, you know, on the defensive end really get stops and, you know, just keep the team positive and be a leader out there. That, that fadeaway you took from the elbow in the first quarter, was that your first NBA heat check? <laughs> it might have been. Somebody told me that heat checks usually don't go well. But, uh, you know, I was feeling it a little bit. So that was that was just full on heat check? Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, when you made the first three, did it feel like you were going to make, like, did you, think you were, did you think you were hot at that point? Or? I think, you know, every game I'm going to make every shot, you know. every uh, You know, the way I work. That's the plan every game is to make every shot. Obviously, it doesn't go like that, but got to keep that confidence. What does a game like that and for you, a stretch like that, do for your confidence, your belief? Uh, you know, it's pretty much the same. You know, if I would have went 0 for 4, I would have kept shooting it with confidence. I think that's, you know, the, the game. You're not going to make every shot, but you got to keep shooting it with confidence and can't pass down uh, opportunities. What was that stretch like when you see four threes go in? And you, I mean, I think it was a 14 4 run and you had 12 of them. Yeah, I mean, shots went down. Uh, the game continues, you know. It was, what, second quarter, so you just got to continue to play the game. It's so 48 minutes. Can't get too caught up in, uh, you know, just a couple shots. The play where you slap the ball in the inbounds off, off Pat Bev, what, what's, like, the read there? What what tells you this is this is not a game? This is a good play and worth going to. What are you watching? Uh, just the fact that I wasn't guarding Maxi, I knew Pat Bev was my matchup, so I just felt like I could put a little bit of pressure on him just to make uh, nothing easy. What, 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 was there a difference in the way you approached this game than the last game? Or, I mean, was it just a matter of just shots going down? Or was there... Yeah, I think it was a matter of time. You know, the more opportun opportunity I get, I feel like I'm just going to continue to play better and, and, you know, make more shots. You guys obviously traded away two really big pieces, and then you got one player. And usually after those types of trades, you see, you see teams, you know, going a little skid before they put things together. Just from your vantage point, what have you seen that has allowed a team that traded away two big pieces, only got one new piece back, or one starter back to you know be able to hit the ground running the way you have you know I think the main thing is it can't go on you know one person's shoulders to pick up the pieces of you know those two guys they did great things for us um and you know it's hard to replace those guys but it can't be just one guy picking up that that uh that weight on their back so I think it has to come from everybody as a collective unit